super blooms. They are new and scary and everyone's not quite sure how to do them. I'm going to go through step by step what you want to do through this event with you because a lot of people don't seem to know you need to continuously collect bloom throughout the event. So here we go. Once the bloom event starts, the insect swarms are going to immediately spawn just like that. You're going to want to just start collecting those right away. Um, and then in a few seconds, there's going to be a tree that spawns with two fruits. You're going to want to take each of those. They're going to give you a special ability each. And these are seemingly random. Um, you can choose either. It'll just be useful during this super bloom. So pick whichever one you would like most. See, I have a rare and a common there. So you do get different rarities as well. They're kind of like the Torghast abilities. Um, they're also really only useful during this super bloom again. So you're going to want to go right back to collecting those insect swarms after you select your abilities and then the super bloom will officially start and he will continue and he will start walking. There are a couple components to a super bloom and those are going to be fighting, collecting bloom, and then the final boss. You're going to want to make sure that you tag the final boss at the end, but collecting bloom and fighting along the way are definitely the most important aspects of this event. The bloom is going to be the most important. Now, a lot of people just want to go down the road with the tree guy and fight all the way down. You are going to need to collect bloom along the way as well, even backtracking at times to collect it. Now, the bloom will spawn these little ghost things here that you can kill. Those give bloom as well. But when the super blooms start, you want to continuously collect these swarms or anything else. There will be a point where you dig up mulch for it. You want to keep collecting these swarms so that you get as much bloom as possible. The bar at the top will show you how much bloom that this group of people have collected. How much bloom you have. This will determine your reward. So right now, below the bar at the top, there is a green bag. The green bag is all you're going to get if people were to stop collecting bloom here. Now, if people continue, they will also get, so in addition to this green bag, they will get a blue bag and a purple bag if they fill the bar completely. You want to aim to get that purple bag. So you want as much bloom as possible. Yes, you want to tag the fights and join the fights and all that, um, but it's just as important for you to go around collecting as much bloom as possible so that everyone can get the best possible reward. There will occasionally be other little items around the super bloom, like these little animals that I'm clicking on here, that will give them just a little bit of extra bloom. I know it's only giving one or two blooms at a time for the most part, but it does add up. Please trust me, if everyone does this, it adds up quickly. So if you're collecting the 10 bloom per enemy, plus the insect swarms, plus the mulch, plus the little random animals along the way, it adds up very quickly. You just need multiple people doing it. You can't only have one person collecting the bloom and a lot of people only want to fight during these or don't know about the other aspect of collecting the bloom. We just want to make sure that every person available is collecting these blooms for the entirety of this super bloom, including during the last event of the super bloom, which I will show you, the unruly storm, as well as during the boss fight. The trick with that is you want to ensure that you tag the boss as well. If you're able to do this easily, so if you have the Pathfinder achievement or whatever where you can go back and forth quickly, I highly recommend this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to start collecting these insect swarms again. 
while he summons more enemies, and I will probably tag those. And then we're going to keep going to the end. This is the last stretch of it. So here I'm going to try to collect a lot of bloom because I can see that we still have almost a third of that bar left. So a lot of this fight, I'm going to spend time collecting bloom. And as you can see, I'm also one of the only people out here, which is why I have a feeling a lot of people don't know that you're supposed to do this. You are supposed to continue collecting bloom, even if you need to backtrack like this, go backwards, to collect it. You should still be collecting it all throughout the fights. So now the unruly storm has started, and as you can see, everyone dives into the fight. Myself included at first, but I'm just here to tag, heal, and then I'm gonna leave and go collect some bloom. We still have about half a bar left, to finish collecting that bloom to get the maximum reward. So everyone dove into this fight, which means no one's collecting bloom right now. That bloom is barely moving. There's maybe one or two people that know to do this, but that is exactly what you should do. So there should be at least a few people. If you have not filled that bar yet, at least a few people continuing to collect bloom. These insect swarms still spawn during this fight. The fight will not finish your bloom bar alone. So you need to continue to collect this bloom, even if you have to go backwards. Once I see that bloom bar hit max, I'm going to jump into the fight as well and continue healing and attacking as much as I can, doing all the AOE, doing single target, whatever I can to help out the fight. Once you finish it, you will get all three rewards if the bar is full. So you will get a green, blue, and purple bag to open up in your inventory. So keep an eye out for those. Once the boss dies, you have finished your super bloom. You will get your rewards off the loot as well as just given to you in your bags. Um, but that is how you do a super bloom. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please give it a like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter for updates. Thank you very much.